got the news today that Netflix will be releasing the third and final season of Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beasts on October 12th of this year. Something that came as a bit of a shock to us here at Cartoon Universe because just the day before it was announced, Haley and I were discussing about how it was seemingly cancelled. Kipo and the Age of Wonder Beasts is a DreamWorks animated series, and most of the other DreamWorks shows that are in the same genre, such as She-Ra and Voltron, were produced in batches of 52 episodes to spread across several years and seasons, so our assumption going into the show was that Kipo would work in a similar format, probably having five seasons with ten or so episodes each. Last season, we managed to get an interview with the creator, however, and when we put forth the idea of having them back for a Season 3 interview, they cryptically noted that it would depend on if there was a Season 3. Behind the scenes, we knew one of the creators, Radford, had gone on to work on other projects, but we held out hope that it just meant that they had mass-produced those episodes and we would still be getting several more seasons. Then, a few days ago, he released a tweet saying he didn't think of making Kipo an LGBTQ plus character, and that maybe that could be explored if they got picked up for more episodes, indicating that whatever work on the show had been completed in its entirety. Then, out of nowhere, Netflix announced that a third and final season would be coming out on October 12th, and everything changed. Now, for those worried that the third season was just another arc in a bigger story that wouldn't be able to finish itself, the creators of the show have confirmed that three seasons was the plan they were working towards from the beginning, and with how fast the seasons come out one after the other, it would indicate that they were mass-produced in a single batch to be divvied up by Netflix later. Whatever they have planned for season three will be what they have been building building into from the very beginning, so it won't end with a big setup for a future story like season 1 and 2 both did. And while I'm happy they are getting to tell the story they wanted to tell, I am a bit disappointed that it is only three seasons, as this feels like the kind of show that could easily be long running for seven seasons or more with the right planning. But there is hope that something else could happen in the world of Kipo. For the sake of fun, Radford started sharing ideas he had for a Kipo sequel movie, which would star Wolf at the age of 15 and focus on her trying to take care of the next generation of wolves that she was raised with and the young girl they were raising to be hunted. Which is a really crazy dark story if you think about it. He also suggested that a spin-off focusing on Benson and his boyfriend would be something he'd like to see, and with the crazy apocalyptic animal world, there are hundreds of scenarios that could be explored by the characters and new ones that could be introduced, but as of now, those are just fun ideas and perhaps some storyboards that he has had, and it would take a lot of interest in the show from fans for Netflix to order more. Now, as for what Season 3 will be about, there were three very clearly set up stories in the Season 2 finale. The first, of course, is that we are going to have to return to Scarlemagne and deal with his character arc. It seems obvious to me that he is going to have some sort of redemption, or at least try to be good in some way, because he seems pretty disappointed not by the fact that he lost, but that Kipo kept trying to give him another chance throughout the entire battle. Then, of course, we have the humans turning against the mutes and trying to end mutes once and for all. And with some of our main characters being revealed to be mutes themselves, and some of our new friends also being mutes, I think it's pretty safe to say that Kipo and her friends are going to be putting an end to that plan, but how they will go about it and what it will mean for the future of their crazy world is yet to be seen. And finally, we actually have the characters themselves and trying to find them a home. They don't need to live in a burrow anymore, it seems that they are safe, and perhaps all humans will become mutes similar to Kipo and her mother now, but with humans and mutes now having a better understanding of one another, it looks like there might be room for them on the surface world now. That's all the information we have at this moment, but we did manage to get early access to Season 3, so we will be posting an early review pretty soon, so like and subscribe if you would like to see that, as well as for our theories and commentary on when the show finally airs on October 12th. See you next time.